The man most recently arrested in the Crystal Rogers case pleaded not guilty to his involvement in her death today. It was a packed courtroom and a very quick hearing, lasting just about five minutes. His attorney doubling down that his client wasn't involved in Rogers' death, while her family says they're not buying it. Commonwealth versus Stephen Eugene Lawson. It was the first case on the docket in this Nelson County courtroom and lasted less than five minutes. Steve Lawson in an orange jumpsuit appeared on video from the nearby jail. Crystal Rogers' family listened from the back of the room, hearing the next time this suspect is in court, he'll be there in person. What's it going to be like to look at him, to look him in the eyes when he's in this courtroom? I don't want to say. It'd be rough, I'll tell you. Uh, if I could get close to him, I'd be able to law hold me back. I can say. Steve Lawson is one of three men charged in this case, along with his son, Joseph Lawson, and his former employer, Brooks Houck. Lawson's attorney insists his client doesn't know anything about how Crystal Rogers died, saying his only connection to the case is his connection to Crystal's car, which was abandoned on the Bluegrass Parkway days after she went missing. Her keys phone and purse inside. He received a phone call from his son that he broke down. He went out there and picked him up and there was a flat tire. He picked his son up, drove back to uh, Nelson County. Another lingering question here, immunity. Lawson's attorney says he has documents proving his client made a deal with police. For his testimony, for his cooperation, uh, for uh, the times that he has been at post four with me and without me, uh, for the greater part of a year, uh, he was offered immunity and uh, we're going to stand on that. The Ballard family believes Steve Lawson knows more than his lawyer is letting on. I think he was involved 100% from day one. And they don't think he'll be the last arrest. As long as they get three more, we don't care how long it takes. In an investigation that's already lasted eight years, the family says answers would be well worth the wait. Right now, Steve Lawson's being held on a $500,000 bond. His attorney will ask for a bond reduction at the next hearing that is set for January the 4th. Steve Lawson's son, Joseph, is facing the same charges. His next court date is January the 5th. And Brooks Houck, who was Crystal Rogers' boyfriend when she disappeared, is scheduled to be in court on February the 8th. He is charged with murder and tampering with physical evidence. He's being held on a $10 million bond. And just this afternoon, we learned Sherry Ballard is suing Brooks Houck. She has filed a wrongful death lawsuit on behalf of her daughter and four of Crystal's children. The lawsuit was filed in Nelson County this week. It's asking a jury to hear the case and rule Houck must pay damages to them for his role in the disappearance and death of Crystal Rogers. According to the court documents, the family is asking Houck to pay for funeral expenses, pain, suffering, and loss of earnings for Crystal. Also, the pain and suffering of her children who grew up without their mother. The lawsuit is asking for a jury trial to determine the exact amount that would be awarded in damages. To see more details, head to our website, whas11.com.